New at 6, uh, San Jose City Councilman feeling the impact of the tough housing market in Silicon Valley. KPI X5's Kid Doe on how he suddenly found himself scrambling just to find a place to live himself. So this used to be the home of San Jose City Council member Raul Perales. The fact that he does not live here anymore is proof that in this brutal housing market, no one is immune. Welcome to the meeting. This all began recently when the city council was debating their own pay raises, and council member Raul Perales made it public that he was being forced to move out of this rental home in the downtown area. So I'm stuck and confined to downtown San Jose uh, right now in the middle of a housing crisis looking for a somewhat right affordable place to live. The old place was a three bedroom single family home with a two car garage, a balcony, and a big backyard for a steal of a deal $2,400 a month. But the owner is retiring and selling the house. Before he put it on the market, though, he offered it to the council member who makes $98,000 a year. His wife works at a nonprofit. But the home is being listed for $1.3 million, and that's not something that my wife and I can, can afford. And so they've moved into this townhome, a rental near the convention center. Even though they have a newborn, they are downsizing to two bedrooms. They also now have a shared common space for a backyard. And their rent jumped from $2,400 to $3,000 a month. Complicating the situation, Perales must reside within his district in downtown San Jose, and he also has pets. We found barely a couple dozen, and then as soon as we put in that we had dogs, it went down to literally like three places. Perales says he will use this personal experience to try and help sway other council members. I've been fighting for this all along. Now I'll get to bring, though, this personal perspective to help tell that story to my colleagues to say this is real, um, and this is what our community is going through as well. In San Jose, Kitto, KPIX5.